Steve is definitely the character that can snowball you the most. Maybe right above or behind Snake. I think those two characters snowball you rarely. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and he's going cloud. He's just going straight for the counter pick. Yeah, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he just... He's not trying to deal with any of this DBS. Trust me, man. I, <laughs> I wouldn't either. Cloud, definitely a character that a lot of Steve may say is losing. So we'll see if Vermillion's Cloud is practiced enough to take a set of game off the spot. Because I feel like a lot of people do this. They go Cloud and they don't really know the character and just think it's an auto win. But yeah, it's it's really not. Like if if you're a Steve player, I feel like this should be the matchup you're probably the most practiced in. Yeah, even if it's bad, it's something you can be aware of. Oh, and that not working. Uh, uh, a sneaky little move. Oh, and that that up B limit is so bad when you try to come down with it. Yeah, uh, it kind of holds your momentum. You can just hold it. Yeah, you, you you basically just know what's going on. Like you you just walk up to them and just kind of well, I already know how they're gonna land. There's no real mix up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and the SF not connected and the and the minecart. Yeah, that was extremely committal. I'm surprised he even went through. it. Um, it hasn't looked like Vermillion has gotten much of like an advantage in this set despite like the percentages right now. Like Cloud just does a lot of percent, but like Spot's been keeping like most of the advantage. Yeah, he's just stuffing every approach approach Vermillion's trying to come in with. Oh uh, that is nuts and that's not KOing just yet. Vermillion has to take this man. Yeah. But with limit online, I mean so many moves are your threat now. He's just fighting with his hands, but he doesn't even care. <laughs> and Cloud's recovery is like really, like really bad. Oh, and that KOs. Yeah, he. So I he's able to get Cloud pretty easily. Yeah, like all he needs is a couple blocks, or even just like hitting him where it's like. Yeah, it's anything that sends him like far, far away and throws up, he doesn't snap. Oh, oh, and that, that connecting. Was, that was actually really amazing for him. He did like an up B ledge cancel into the down air. I've never seen that. I never see that here, and that's taking the KO. And man, look at see, see what I'm talking about, bro? Look yeah. The steamroll, the snowball effect. 79%. Yeah, he hit him like hits. a couple times. I know. It's almost like this character is really good. Uh, oh my gosh, maybe. 78. See, oh. I, I, I did not agree with that second. Yeah. Down. I think Spot was ready to punish it. He just slightly misspaced it. Yes, exactly. I don't know if Vermillion. Oh, man. oh, and the perf the worst part of that is that that down smash is safe. When yeah, he does it on yeah. those blocks, it Be breaks. Very it. careful. I just hold shield. Yeah. I hold shield and parry like a G, but I'm just different, you know? <laughs> Vermillion, I see, I don't know if that cloud was practiced. I think he's gonna probably go with Broke. I mean, I don't want to. He might go Violet. Oh, Joker? Joker? I would think it Violet. I think Violet does really good in this team matchup. I think so too. I mean, I think Leo has definitely shown it off. Yeah, yeah. It's just, um, you know, I, I wasn't really agreeing with the cloud pick. I know Vermillion plays a lot of characters, but I just don't think it was it. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see the Joker and see if he can take a game off the spot and see how how uh, this new character does. Yeah. Um, with the Joker Steve matchup, I do know that Steve has like pretty. Uh, Pretty strong uh, cheese, I guess, versus his up B, Joker's tether up B, where you can like cancel it out with block. But. Oh, I don't like pits, right? Would yeah. I stop it going up? Would I kind of stop it? Like, no, it like breaks the tether. Like, it doesn't actually grab the leg. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you about with Arsene. Oh, no. I mean, Arsene should be uh, pretty easy for him to deal with, like, down tilts and all that, you see? Oh, my gosh. That's so annoying. Yeah. Uh, this, this matchup can be rough. <laughs> As we can see there, Joker not the heaviest character, so he does that at Anvil on all of the Diamond Smash attacks pretty early. Yeah, that is very true. And Spot. Oh, no. 28% off of triple hits. You could definitely get a lot more off it, but I mean, he's in the lead, so there's not really much to be worrying about. Yeah, like, usually when you get hit by like a Steve up tilt, you should definitely expect like 60 or something. Yeah. Like, Maybe he just wasn't ready for it, but the Houseman connecting. Ooh, with Maybe it's just a couple hits away from bringing this back. Yeah, with our Sen online, definitely just takes like one or two neutral interactions. He has to be careful. Oh my god, he tried to go for the, the crazy setup. I like that setup. But he's he's gonna have to play it really careful because now he's at death percent. He's at so oh, the DI on the back here was not a. Was that H-Box? I mean, come on, that DI was not, not good. Yeah, you can't be doing that versus Steve. 
I mean, I, I know it's hard, but like, if you want a chance of winning this match, you have to know uh, how to do this stuff. Yeah, exactly. And now, Revelia down. See, let's see what he can do to fix this up. I mean, he's already a death percent. Like, this he is. He uh, really is, man. Like, this. I don't know, man. Let's see if we can do a reflector. No, no reflector. No, that's just our response to the. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Spot with the down air, that's like definitely something he would expect. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah, yeah. untackable. Ooh, and uh, I mean, I'm not gonna... You're lost for words, bro. Let me speak for you. So anyways, <laughs> uh, the Joker not working out. I, honestly, I think the Joker was a better pick. It's just you have to be careful on what on what uh, Steve throws out. The anvil is so strong. When he's above you, you just gotta you gotta assume he's always gonna throw it out. Yeah, you always have to assume it. Yeah, and that's kind of like a mix up in its own. Like, oh, oh, Lucina. I mean, this is his original character. So let's see how this goes out. Yeah, Lucina from Love is ninety six, I think. But now, Spot versus Three, two, one, Lucina. Let's see. It's gonna be a, a lot easier for uh, Lucina to space, but. Let's see if this character practices up for it. Yeah, um, I, I don't know if he's ever- Oh, with the up tilt ladders and up smash, that's quick 60. Yeah, so far he's doing pretty good, but, you know, there's a couple hits from Steve and, uh, your stock is gone. I mean, with the, the hitboxes with his, um, forward airs and all that, like, I feel like it's doing a lot better of a job, like, contesting with, like, Steve's hitboxes. Because I feel like with Joker, you have to be, like, a little bit more closer to, like, kind of contest. Yeah. But now he's, like, he can kind of, like, keep his own space. I mean, of course, the, the punish game with Steve is still so powerful, but at the very least, he can, like, control his space. Yeah, and now, you know, that recovery was actually really good. I'm surprised no, we didn't talk about that. But, oh, uh, no punish. Maybe we got down from... Oh! Yeah, up yet, it's pretty pretty not gonna lie. Yeah, uh... So, so Remini's gonna have to... Man, he's just gonna have to take the stock as soon as he can. You do not want to get hit by this character when you're, when you're down. Yeah, especially at 0%. That's where Steve gets his strongest combos. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and he has gold tools, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. With gold tools, Steve is definitely extremely scary. 68% into the two conversions. And Ooh. 93 for Minis and I keep this talk immediately. No jump. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, and it stops his recovery. Yeah. Steve is such a fun character. I like this The F2 is not killing just yet. Yeah, if I'm Vermillion, uh, I'm definitely just trying to get this stock and seeing where it, where it goes next. Uh, uh, it's not looking good. Yeah, we can never count anyone out. You know, like how we how we uh, we're watching the other matches. Comebacks are easy to make in this game. So except to see Vermillion play smart and um, no one to go in and out. But man, this, this damage damage is so much with Diamond. It's a little overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, uh, it's definitely very scary. At, at, at any percent, to be honest with you, like, he, all he needs is, like, a couple hits, and you're basically a death percent. And then his kill moves become a little bit more safe just because of that diamond uh, hit stun on shield. And that's not gonna be it. It's gonna be such a hard, you know, it's gonna be so hard to bring back, and that's not working. He's trying to get the... Oh, he has no material, I can realize. Yeah, this he has is... to take advantage of this. Yeah, if he gets a kill, that'll definitely be, like, strong in his favor, like... He needs uh, the stock now. Yes, he need He has zero material. He needs to get oh. the stock immediately. And now he's yeah, he got his material back. It's not looking uh, yeah. this great. <laughs> and now Vermillion can die to even a grab. He has to play very careful. And he's still a stock, an entire stock down. I don't know how he's gonna do it. Yeah, he has to like. Oh, yeah, he needed that stock. Oh, oh no. no. That's, that's it. The anvil. Yeah, quick 3-0 from the spy. Um, that was good for Vermillion. I really like the Lucina pick. I, just, I, I wish he did go. He should have started with Lucina, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah, he should have. Um, I'm surprised he didn't see the Kazuya, but I could see why 